welcome to Doggy Style TV. Typically when they go to get a dog, whether it's a, a rescue, a puppy, whatever, they go in with it with fantastic intention. Okay, a great plan. What a lot of people do not really look at is what is the five-year plan? For instance, this little one will live to 16. For instance, this one, maybe 14, 16, 18. So do we have a long-term plan? I'd like to applaud the amazing owners, the people that take it that one step. They, they do push through the tough times. Yes. All dogs have the potential to be good. I want to focus on the strength, the good people, the people that also want to do well but they don't have the right tools. So what are some tools? Number one, here's one thing I tell all my clients, don't talk to your dog for two weeks. And they're like, what? Don't talk to the dog? I'm like, no, there's no talking. Their first form of communication is body language. So let's learn a little bit of body language. For instance, if I go to Italy and I try to speak Italian, because I cannot speak Italian, but if I do try to speak Italian, I will have a better chance of communicating and getting things than someone who does not attempt. Sure. So if we put ourselves on that level and we try to learn their canine language, all of a sudden, we have a dog that will start working with us. Now, if we go sit, 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 dog hears annoying, annoying, annoying voice, annoying, annoying, annoying voice. So true. So why do I want to listen to you? And that also conditions a dog to tune to, out, tune out, but maybe respond to the eighth, eighth command. So get rid of all the talking. Number two, do umbilical leash around the waist, and that's seen on at the end of my leash and Puppy SOS and in all my training videos. But another one is manage your dog. If a dog understands that you can physically manage it, and this goes back to mom and puppyhood, so a mom will come and pick up the puppy from back here, right? If the dog understands that it can be managed, then it will battle you less. So if you take a look at a puppy at five, six months of age, it's going to start pulling you. Who's managing who? A, a 22 pound dog now managing a 115 pound woman. How does that make any sense? Oh, but I don't want to give it a correction. What are you talking about a correction? That's what dogs do. If we if we take away what they should be, how they should be managed, then we're not managing them right and we are doing a disservice. It's true. I see it all the time. I agree 100%. You have to, and they respect you more. They have to know who's alpha, right? You have to take control. Those who don't take control, I always hear too, wow, how do your dogs follow you like that? How do they walk without a leash or... Because they know you're the boss. they know that I'm the boss. And the thing is, is that there's a fine, you know, it's, we're not talking about abuse your dog. No. Right? No. No. But definitely discipline and a firm discipline. It's necessary. They need to know when they do something wrong that they're doing it wrong, that it's wrong. There are going to be mixed views on what you're saying, what I'm saying. Sure. That's totally fine. We have to find what works for this buddy. Know your dog, what it needs, and what are you gonna give it back? So, so a fulfilling life. Totally, so your dog is a jokester, likes to play and likes yeah. to play games. Hello, get yeah. down on your hands and knees. You know what we forget? To have fun with the dog. We do, we forget to have fun. Ooh. What do you mean, what do you mean? Okay, here, here's an overview of many, many people out there, probably 60% of dog owners. And I'm talking in the first year because that 60% becomes a much smaller percent. So people get a dog. Oh wow, we're all happy. Look at the puppy, look at the puppy. Oh, smell the little puppy breath. Mm, and its eyes and its soft little ears. Now, you know, three months in <clears throat> of having that puppy, it's five months old. Now it's always pulling and leading on leash. Six months. Now it's, you know, starting to chew more and more things. Not so cute. Yeah, seven months it enters into the terrible two. Between seven and nine months, they realize either the dog is jumping up too much, it's too time consuming, or, uh, you know, it's, it's just costing way too much. So, all of a sudden, people get rid of the dog. That's what happens. A lot they of want time. the peacefulness. They think they're going to have that with a, with a puppy. You're not going to have peacefulness with a puppy. 
you gotta get on your hands and knees. But so many people in this day and age, especially the new generation, this is what is fearful for dogs in the, in the new generation of kids. How many kids are going to get dirty? Like so many parents, oh, sanitize, sanitize, right? But listen, that happens with a lot of dog owners. They don't let their dogs out because they just groomed the dog. They don't want their you know, couch dirty, their home dirty. So they keep the dog inside and, and, and instead of letting them out and letting them be a dog. But there's a lot of misleading information about people saying that these are not a pack animal. They are a pack animal. Very much so. There's misleading information saying that dogs don't feel. Really, they don't feel? They don't understand when you're going to work that they're totally bummed. They don't understand that they've had the kids for two months during the summer and now they're going to school and, they, and the dog doesn't have anybody to play with. Of course it gets sad and depressed. So how many buddies will your dog have? And I always suggest to my clients, your dog needs to have numerous buddies. Numerous, numerous, numerous buddies. Not one or two. Absolutely. Like, because like you said, they're pack animals. We set our dogs up for failure. And the solution is train your dog. Okay, so um, you are a trainer worldwide. Mm -hmm. People can take your classes mm -hmm. and they do it online as well if they can't get to you. Or we're, we're actually going to set up something online shortly. Good. <clears throat> uh, but it won't be a full CTE course. It'll be something that's ideal for uh, vet techs, dog walkers, dog daycare owners, things of that People nature. People already know <clears throat> dogs. Yeah, and, and of course dog trainers. Um, kids, because there's that kind of education that needs to get out there. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, what I keep striving for is spreading the word, spreading the word, spreading the word.